Have you ever wondered who the top 10 players of all time are? Here's your time to find out. Yo guys, it's Griff here back with another video and today we are talking about the top 10 players of all time. I'm going to start at number 10 and finish at 1. So number 10 is Alfredo Di Stefano. Obviously this man was born before and played and finished playing before I was even born. So he goes 10th position. Obviously he was an amazing player and he was so good. He was a forward who played for many different teams and he played for some really good teams like Real Madrid he was a forward he was from Argentina sorry I'm not I don't know as much about this guy as some of the other players and he was incredible I know he scored so many goals with so many trophies and that's why he's well known for being one of the greatest players of all time number nine goes to Jürgen Müller of Germany obviously this man played for Bayern Munich he was incredible he was he scored so many goals, and he's one of the uh, uh, one of the greatest scorers of all time. I've got so much respect for him. He's changed the game. How many goals he scored, and he was really, really, really good in his prime. And I've got so much respect for Jared Muller. Number eight goes to the Brazilian maestro Ronaldinho. In my opinion, he's in this top ten. Maybe not in your opinion. But Ronaldinho is such a good player, honestly. He's so good. His skills were amazing. You couldn't handle him sometimes. He was so good. And honestly, playing against him must have been an absolute nightmare. Because he was so skillful. He was quick. Hard to deal with. And that's why he's number eight for me. This is where you may disagree with Ronaldinho. Number seven, Johan Cruyff. For the Netherlands and Ajax, he was such a good player. It was obviously most of these are forwards, and Johan Cruyff was incredible. He changed what he did at Cruyff Turn. He invented some new skills, and he was insane. I've got so much respect for Johan Cruyff as he was a brilliant player, and he scored so many goals. Very skillful. Honestly, one of the best players of all time. I would have loved to be able to watch him live. Number six, go to Ronaldo Nazario, who played for Brazil, Inter Milan, Barcelona. Those are only a few teams to name. He was incredible. A scorer of many goals. Really strong physically. Really skillful. Really powerful. Really good, honestly. One of the best players ever, easily. Honestly, he has, he has such good... Yeah, he was ruined by injuries. That's why he's not in this top five. But he was insane in his prime. Honestly, I have so much respect. And I would have loved to watch him live. But unfortunately, he died. Uh, he Sorry, he's been very ill. And he's got a few problems now. So he will obviously be back playing football. And he's older, so he retired. So number five, go to Zinedine Zidane. What a player. Real Madrid. Also, the coach he used to be the coach of Real Madrid. He was an amazing manager, amazing player. He was such a good player. Had the composure in the World Cup final to score a chip. Can't believe he did that. He was so good. Always knew what he was doing. Really skillful. Lost his head a bit in the World Cup. And honestly, one of the best players of all time. One of the players I would want to watch more than some of these other players on the list because he was so good in his prime playing for Real Madrid. Number four goes to Maradona. Wow. What a man. Small, quick like Messi, really hard to deal with. One of the greatest players of all time, no doubt about it. He was incredible. He knew exactly what he wanted to do with the ball. He could dribble past anyone. He was the goat of his time. I don't think he's as good as the rest of the people in this list. Could score any type of goal. Could do anything with the ball on on the pitch. And just an incredible player for me, to be honest. So then, number three goes to Pele. Wow. What a player Pele was. Incredible, obviously, played for Brazil. Only in Brazil he did play. He scored so many goals. He, he was one of the top scorers ever. And he was incredible. 
for me, he's up there with some of the best players of all time. So much respect for Pele. Changed the game. Obviously, Brazil's one Brazil's easy best player ever, and he was incredible in his time. Number two goes to Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, the debate for Messi and Ronaldo, the goat, goes on. But Ronaldo is two for me. He was a brilliant player and still is a brilliant player, but. He's not on Messi's level. I am sorry if you disagree with me there. I don't think he's as good as some of the other, uh, as Messi, but he is up there with one of the greatest players, clutch player. Obviously, he's really good, knows what he's doing, and I've got so much respect for Pele. And he was a really, really good player when he was playing. Uh, unlike Ronaldo, they played quite similar. Ronaldo, strong, quick. Amazing, he was really good, and he is still playing for the Saudi team now. I'm not too happy with him there, to be honest. I'd love him to come back. He's gone there for the money and the fame, though, hasn't he? And number one, without a doubt for me, goes to Lionel Messi. Obviously, he's just signed for Inter Miami. I, I guess you could understand for the money, like Ronaldo, if they've both done it. But for me, Messi is the goat. He's so good. With the ball, I I just prefer watching him over Ronaldo. Such a re- skillful, small, quick, amazing player. He is incredible. Still playing for Inter Miami. Won the World Cup last year. Wow. Wow, what a performance he put in over the World Cup. And he was incredible. So that's why he's my number one. So guys, that's it for the video today. If you've enjoyed the video, let me know. Uh, Drop a like, subscribe. It's been Griff, and I'm out.